and welcome back. And if this is your first time here, welcome in. So what we're going to do here is we are starting out with a um, 20 ounce uh, just stainless steel straight tumbler from a stainless steel depot. And I took it outside and spray painted it with St. Trope. Anyways, I'm not even going to try. But anyways, it's a teal spray paint, whatever you have, you just need kind of that base to make sure that, uh, you know, you, the glitter you're using is just, it has that um, perfect, you know, look underneath. So um, in case you do miss one tiny little spot, um, it's not glaring at you with that, that um, stainless steel. It also helps you with that base color underneath that um, it really helps that glitter just do its job as far as reflecting that color and shining through. So what I did was I started off with Gnarly from Peachy Olive Glitters and then I went in with Bejeweled and just kind of filled in the whole rest of this tumbler here. Um, I just kind of wanted a little bit of that chunkiness underneath um, to give us a little bit of depth. But then um, I just took that bejeweled and just filled in the rest of it. So I'm taking my uh, wax paper here and I am wrapping it up and patting down all of those glitters to make sure that we don't have um, all kinds of chunkiness um, coming out whenever we put our epoxy on. And here I have already sealed this and put a coat of epoxy and now I have done some sanding and I am going in with another coat of epoxy. It probably has been, this is probably my third coat to be honest with you, um, but I sealed it with Crystallite glitter glue, went in with a coat, went in with another coat, did some sanding, that was my third coat and now we are going to do a water slide. Now this is another one of the seamless patterns from my website and um, I made this Basically, I think I kept this one the same. I didn't uh, make it any smaller because I kind of wanted those big chunks of um, turquoise stone because I, I wanted it to look like it was a bunch of stones on there. So after um, printing this out, I took it outside, spray painted it three times with um, just a clear gloss, Rust-Oleum clear spray. And um, I brought it back inside after it dried. I didn't take too long for it to dry. I probably left it out there for about an hour. Probably don't need it that long. I just kind of was doing other things. So, <clears throat> um, and my voice is still, it's coming, it's back, but it's, uh, it's still, you can tell I had some issues. <laughs> Anyways, so I, um, I just put this in the water there and this is just warm tap water from my sink. And I am going to do a full wrap of this whole turquoise stone looking um, pattern here. I'm going to wrap this all the way around this tumbler so that I can get this very um, natural stone look. And as you can see, I was wetting my little uh, plastic silicone brush here um, periodically throughout so that um, those water slides, you just they just want to maintain their moisture until you get them set and ready to go. And then they start to dry. And um, and that's when you can let the moisture do, you know, evaporate and whatnot. But when you're when you're doing it like this, you want to make sure that you're maintaining that um, level of moisture that is in there. Um, also, um, you want to be careful when you're cutting this too, because the water slides will, uh, shrink up a little bit, right? So you want to make sure when you are cutting this, that you're not cutting too close to the other, you know, you want to leave just a tiny bit of a lip, uh, just so that it has that room to kind of shrink up a little bit. So now that I got it all um, wrapped up and it is pretty as smooth as I think I can get it here, um, I'm going to take a coffee filter and I'm just going to kind of pat some of that water out of it just a little bit. I, I don't want it to be too dry, but um, at this point now, I know it's in the spot that I want it to be in. So I just want to dry up a little bit of that um, that water and that wetness that is all over. In order to go into the next step, I'm just going to, once this dried, 
Um, and you really want to make sure this dries. I usually, my water slides are usually either beginning of the day and then at the end of the day, I'm putting epoxy on it or I'm waiting till the next day because just any kind of moisture underneath that epoxy is not going to be good. So um, I just really try to make sure that we have some real good drying going on with um, these water slides. So I just went in with a coat of epoxy, just a small little coat, just so that I could um, go to this next step. So I have this gold pen that I got like when I first started doing tumblers. And it is like the brassiest gold, and I very, very, very rarely ever use it because it is just so brassy gold, and that's usually not the kind of gold that I'm going for. But in this case, it worked out beautifully because that's exactly the kind of, you know, that, I, I don't want to call it orange, I don't know, brown, I don't even know what kind of, just brass, that's the only thing I can think of, <laughs> it's, just, it's like you know, a brassy gold. And so all I did was I just went around and each one of these little lines or shapes or whatever, I just outlined them. Now I have sped this up quite a bit, but I wanted you to kind of see how it kind of grew, right? So I've got little tiny little circles and then I've got the big circles and then I've got some lines that are going through there and I traced those out um, throughout this entire tumbler. So um, I just took this paint pen that I've had forever. Um, I will try to link it in, I believe I got it off of Amazon, but, um, and it was like a set of like three and then it came with like silver and a white and black or something like that. So I'll try to see if I can find it again and, um, you know, uh, or find something comparable, I guess, for this color, if this is what you're going for. If not, you know, use some rose gold or use teal or use black or whatever you want to do. It's your design, you know, it's your art. So um, you make it the way you want to make it. I just thought that this brassy gold was going to be really highlighting that teal and um, this whole kind of rustic boho western style that I was going for. And we're just going to finish this up, um, just this last bit here. Um, I, I really loved the way that this just had that feel of natural stone. Um, and I think putting that glitter behind it and then, but also having that little bit of color from the water slide, that, that teal color, and then on top of that teal color glitter, I really feel like it just gave it this real natural rustic feel. And um, I was very pleased with the outcome. So once again, in order to secure all of that, and so we're not getting any smearing or anything like that, we're just going to put a quick coat of epoxy on here. Um, I think I had to do a little bit of you know what? I remember because I had a little bit of fish eyes in my 
um, epoxy. And I think it was because we determined that I didn't maybe mix it up as good. And I had a whole bunch of tumblers that I was doing. And so I had to put another coat of epoxy. I think that's why. But um, sometimes it happens. If it happens, just make sure you're mixing it up really good. Make sure that you are cleaning your tumbler off or giving it a sand before you go into, because sometimes there could be materials on there that could, um, you know, give you uh, get your epoxy to repel. And so what I did there was I took that decal that I got from 311 Co. And I put it on the tumbler and then I took my little weeding tool and I kind of marked out exactly where uh, that that particular decal kind of covered up. And um, I'm just putting a little bit of that foil glue on there so that I can uh, cover that. I, th I thought that that maybe it would not show up as as good as if it didn't have, you know, some kind of background. And I didn't want to do a white bleach spot. I wanted to do something much more, um, you know, stone jewelry like because that's the theme that we're going for here. So I put it all around some uh, other little places on the tumbler. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the gold, and this is another brassy, brassy gold here, and I'm just rolling my whole tumbler in it because I've got it in so many different places. I just wanted to make sure that I was, uh, you know, burnishing and getting all of those particular oil, I mean, glue spots covered in that foil. So I figured that if I was going to do one big spot that I would just do um, a few smaller spots around the tumbler just to kind of give it a cohesive look. Um, this is just tr trying to get as much of that foil off and um, attached to that glue that we have on here. Um, I did let this dry for probably about 30 minutes, which is probably a little bit less than I would have liked to have, but um, that's just my opinion on this particular foil, foil glue. And because there was foil behind this, I didn't want any of that clear backing to kind of show through or give us any kind of issues. You just never ever know sometimes with when you're doing something with foil or a different kind of uh, material maybe then you're used to putting something over like those bleach white spots are just white so it doesn't matter if you're using paint or something like that. It's you know kind of the same but um, I just wasn't too sure so I thought might as well just play it safe here and cut out as much of that clear um, on the outside of this particular decal just to um, ensure us getting a really nice look on this tumbler here and I thought the color and style of this particular decal was perfect for this tumbler you've got a little bit of that uh, turquoise look there and then you have the orange and that kind of perfect color that goes with uh, the teal there um, it does have a little bit of a, a bible verse going on top of the o if you will and then um, the bible verses on the cross there so this is a really you know simple beautiful design that you could do um, i decided that because I had a little bit of space at the end, at the bottom, that I had to kind of cut off from that water slide, that uh, I would put a gold piece of vinyl as a wrap on the bottom there, just as a, like a pinstripe there, um, so that we could, I guess, make it a look a little more, um, finished or put together, I guess. I thought that that would help out a little bit. So, um, I guess I didn't like the way that that was, or <laughs> maybe it was something. Anyways, um, I put a pinstripe on the bottom there because I, like I said, I had to cut out a little bit of the uh, water slide to kind of even it out. So I just thought this gold piece here, and it's also once again a pretty brassy gold, so it um, it really allows for those all of those gold. <clears throat> excuse me, those brassy gold colors to just kind of meld together here. So I did seal this only because um, I just wanted to make sure that because of the glue and the foil and the vinyl at the bottom, 
the decal in the middle does not need to be sealed. If you were just doing that decal and nothing else, you could just go straight into a coat of epoxy. But with this, I just thought I would just cover it in Mod Podge and just make sure that we were, you know, good to go and we weren't going to have any more fish eyes because I had already had fish eyes on this one time the last time. So, um, and then I went into... Uh, sanding on the top, sanding on the bottom. I did a little bit of sanding on the sides just to make sure that we have a nice smooth surface and went into our final coats of epoxy. And here we are. And here she is. So beautiful. I love that teal. I, I, I do love some turquoise jewelry. I am always drawn to it. And then I realize that I have three or four different things that look exactly the same when I go and, and buy something or bring it home. <laughs> Anyways, I really love, and plus being from a West Texas gal, being from Texas period, um, the turquoise jewelry just kind of speaks to your heart. Um, I do love the little splashes of gold around the tumbler. I love that gold on the back of that decal. I really feel like... Um, it just really makes that orange and that teal pop. I did put my logo on the bottom, as I always do. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.